Hello! In this video, we will examine the sacroiliac joint movement. Sacroiliac joint is composed of the sacrum, articulating with the two innominates. The movement at the joint can be considered from three perspectives. First, as a movement of sacrum, independent from the movement of the innominates. Second, as a movement of the innominates, independent from the sacral motion. And last, as a movement of both parts simultaneously, the sacrum and the innominates moving together. Sacroiliac joint movement can be classified as asymmetrical and asymmetrical movement. Symmetrical movement occurs in the sagittal plane along the x-axis. Movement that occurs symmetrically are referred to as mutation and counter-mutation. Asymmetrical movements occur in the transverse plane along the y-axis. Movements that occur asymmetrically are sacral torsions and pelvic torsions. Let's take a look at the symmetrical movements first, mutation and counter-mutation. In both cases, we observe sacrum on iliac movement, iliac on sacral movement, or movement of both counterparts. Let's examine mutation first. Sacral motion during mutation occurs by the anterior displacement of the sacral promontory in relation to the innominates. Innominate movement during mutation occurs by the posterior displacement of the posterior superior iliac spines in relation to the sacrum. Mutation can also be achieved by the movement of the sacrum and the innominates together. Observe the sacral promontory move anterior and the posterior superior iliac spines move posterior. Now let's examine countermutation. Sacral motion during countermutation occurs by the posterior displacement of the sacral promontory in relation to the innominates. Innominate movement during countermutation occurs by the anterior displacement of the posterior superior iliac spines in relation to the sacrum. Countermutation can be achieved by the movement of the sacrum and the innominates together. Observe the sacral promontory move posterior and the posterior superior iliac spines move anterior. Now let's take a look at the asymmetrical motions. They're referred to as torsions and occur around the oblique axis. Let's take a look at the iliac on sacral movement first. Remember here, the two innominates are moving in the opposite directions. For example, let's take the posterior rotation of the right innominate and the anterior rotation of the left innominate. Let's examine the axis of the right innominate first. The axis of rotation pierces right through the pubic symphysis. Follow the right anterior superior iliac spine as it's moving posterior, superior, and medial. Now, let's examine the left innominate rotating anterior. Once again, the axis is through the pubic symphysis. Follow the left anterior superior iliac spine as it's moving anterior, inferior, and lateral. Now, let's examine the sacral on iliac movement. The movement of the sacrum in the transverse plane occurs around an oblique axis and appears to be a combination of side bending and rotation. Typically, it is described as right-on-right -right torsion or right-on-left torsion. The first word refers to the direction the sacrum is turning. The second word refers to the axis around which the sacrum is rotating. So, right-on-right -right means it's turning to the right around the right axis of rotation. Right-on-left means the sacrum is turning to the right around the left axis of rotation. 
There are four possible combinations of movement. Right on right, right on left, left on left, and left on right sacral torsions. Let's take a look at sacral rotation to the right on the right oblique axis. Here, we observe the movement by following the left sacral base anterior. Let's take a look at the sacral rotation to the left on the left oblique axis. Follow the right sacral base anterior. Now, let's take a look at the right on left sacral movement. Here we observe the right sacral base move posterior. And finally, let's take a look at left on right oblique axis rotation. Here we observe the left sacral base move posterior. Okay. In this video, we examined sacroiliac nutation, counter nutation, and sacroiliac torsions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe.